here we are today on Saturday, uh, May 13th. It's a beautiful day and you can see the streets are clean um, and well swept. Uh, it's just after the uh, noon rain and uh, unfortunately um, usually we have a lot of rubbish here so it's good it's cleaned up but unfortunately these um, uh, payphone uh, what do you call it are uh, disused and abandoned they should basically be removed because they they just block the pavement and they serve no useful purpose everyone has a handphone nowadays nobody uses these payphones um, so you should get rid of them there's another one at the corner at the other side there we should get rid of the whole lot uh, this is Glomax Central by the way okay and um, this used to be full of grass growing on the curb here and as you can see MBPJ have got off their asses and cleaned up all this grass that were growing here and um, it's beautiful of course you know we have um, the kampong people who are a bunch of bloody illiterate and um, uneducated idiots who throw rubbish all over the place we really need to screw these buggers heads on right um, I don't know what kind of enforcement we could do find them or summon them or something okay this used to be all full of grass so they've been removed this is very interesting there's a fig tree growing in the grating and it just reaches the top because people walk on it these are the local pigeons. I think they belong to this restaurant here. Um, oh, they used to have a big signboard, Restaurant Abdullah, but it seems to have been taken down. Anyway, um, wow, see how fast the grass grows. So they've just cleaned this up a couple of days ago, but once the problem is if you don't clean everything, the grass starts sprouting again. And even here, this was full of grass growing here earlier. So they've cleaned up this mess, which is good. And um, this grating is good. It's taking water down. Um, however, across the road, if I want to show you, there's uh, this grating and many others by the side of the road, which are completely blocked with rubbish. So because they're blocked, uh, it creates ponding after heavy rain and flooding of the roads so when it rains heavily sometimes you get as much as uh, six inches of ponding and flooding on this road and as you can see these uh, abandoned tires there are 21 of them three stacks uh, piled seven high uh, still oh now there are four stacks okay so yeah, this is an eyesore, a bloody nuisance. And you can see in the far distance there, there's an abandoned car parked on the curb, which is also a bloody nuisance. Um, MPVJ don't seem to be interested in removing the car. Actually, there's another car which is parked um, by the side of the road, which is at least an improvement. Um, they both have puncture tires. They've been there for at least a year. So I don't know, what's the problem with MBPJ? Have they been receiving bribes to not do their work? Or they're simply apathetic? Or just a bunch of, um, what do you call it? Gajibuta driftwood. So tell me, what's the answer? Why are they not doing their job? Why are they not doing their job? Please answer.